This training video is about deleting a transaction. Specifically, we're going to start with deleting a receipt. So in case you've accidentally receded the payment in twice, the easiest way to delete the receipt is to, again, go into active leases. You can click on the plus button here, um, go into the receipts. If you see there is, for example, we want to delete this receipt here, 498, we click on the details button. And up top there, there is the option to delete that receipt. Delete, says do you want to delete this transaction, hit OK. And you'll see down here the record has been successfully deleted. OK. Now we're going to have a look at deleting a transaction from a cash book. Now only property managers will have access to the, tra to the cash book as it's part of the trust accounting module. Um, we will go through in a minute how to do, do the delete transactions from the statements if you're actually a property a, a landlord. So let's go to the cash book and trust account. Um, we'll see, we decide we're going to delete this transaction here. Um, we'll go down the transaction number, click on the transaction number. And again, you'll see the option up here to delete the transaction. Click on delete, confirm, and the record is successfully deleted. Now, if you are running a trust account module, you'll see in the transaction log, all the logs will be there. We've changed the edit, we've edited that transaction there and changed the status from confirmed to deleted. So all the transactions are logged if you are running a trust account module. Now, if you want to have a look at all the transactions, for example, um, and you're running as a property only yourself, you can go into the income expenses report all dates and that will list all the transactions that have been entered and in this case we click the view on the right hand side and let's select this one here and we're going to that's not a good one um, we're going to delete this electricity payment here, view, and we're going to hit delete on this one. Click OK, and again that transaction is deleted. So you can see in each step we get to the transaction detail page and there is always a delete option there. Now once you delete that transaction and you go back into the transaction details screen, you can reactivate the transaction and bring it back by clicking the reactivate button. Again, view details, you see it's now active again, and then we can delete it again, and view the details, and we can see the status of here is cancelled. And that's how you delete transactions, either as a property manager or as a landlord.